topic that is introduction to coating technology as this coating technology it is belongs to the surface engineering discipline so what is mean by surface engineering so we'll start with this point so surface engineering is the sub discipline of metal science and which deals with the surface of solid matters as solid matters are composed of bulk materials which is covered by the surface and the surface which bounds the bulk material it is called the surface phase the surface phase of a solid it interacts with the surrounding environment and this interaction can degrade the surface phase over the time so surface engineering involves the altering the properties of the surface phase in order to reduce the degradation over the time so this is accomplished by the making of the surface robust to the environment in which it will be used okay so surface engineering it refers to the wide range of technology which is designed to modify the surface properties of metallic and non metallic component again for the decorative or functional purpose it include improvement of corrosion and wear resistant to extend component life making atoms more visual attractive and giving special properties such as a lubricity enhancement non stick surface etc so we can define surface engineering as per the bailey's that is the author name so definition of surface engineering is the application of traditional and innovative surface technologies to engineering component and material with properties unattainable in either the base material or surface materials so this is the definition which is given by the bailey's now in short i can say definition of the surface engineering to make changes to the surface of a material that is a definition and what is the purpose to gain or improve the desired surface properties of the material again to improve a components or performance or surface lifetime again with aesthetic or economic point of view okay so this is a purpose now surface engineering processes okay there are many processes for modifying the surface properties and these surface engineering processes are grouped into the three main categories the first category is surface modification with changing the material chemically so in that changes are made by thermal or mechanical means as well as altering the metallurgy or we can say surface structure okay and the second group belongs to the surface engineering process is surface modification by altering surface chemistry so these process processes diffusion of new elements into the surface of the material and the original substrate material constitute play as a play and active part in this modified surface okay so and the next process belongs to the surface engineering process is the coating or we can say surface modification by adding new material on the surface in this coating the process which are essential for adding a new material to the surface as a coating and it do not involve the substrate material constitutes at a surface so this is called coating now we'll start the coating technology point okay so before going to principle of coating technology we should know the as as per the part of the surface engineering we should know the which are the different processes belongs to the this surface modification by adding new mat on to the surface that is surface coating so welding type process again thermal spray process these are belongs to the coating also electro plating is there and the advanced coating technology involves pv that is physical vapor decomposition deposition chemical vapor deposition then painting and powder coating and also that cladding part also belongs to the advanced coating okay now let us discuss the principle of coating te technology okay as we know the coating technology we just 
simply understand that modify modification on the surface either by changing the chemistry as well as the chemical or composition of the surface by some kind of the hardening method or we can say surface hardening method or about the surface we can deposit some extra secondary material such that it protect the surface so that the aspect of importance of the coating for particular component is important so we can see the most of the manufacturing sectors the technical coating technologies are actually involved in that manufacturing sectors and if we can see the different industries like appliances automobiles telecommunications electronics automo uh, aerospace and jewelry also so the that components most of the cases we can find out that it is subjected to the some amount of coating okay so of course the thickness of the coating varies with the material of the coating and of course the different methodologies of the coating also exist in the actual cases okay so basic aim of this coating technology is just to improve the surface properties and of course most of cases we try to improve the surface property just to improve or enhance the wear resistance characteristics of a particular surface okay so this is the main aim so therefore merely the life of the product so by introducing coating on the particular uh, surface the life of the product can be increased and to in to enhance or sometimes we can bring some aesthetic view as a part of introducing the coating on that surface and of course metal finishing alters the surface of metal product so metal finishing in the sense that if we introduce a coating it will actually alter the surface of the metal product and the most of the industries use the metal finishing processes to get or to achieve the very good surface properties and just i have explained the different industries which use the metal finishing okay so this is the principle now this surface finish since this surface finish if you look into that coating process which can be developed in the different way and the structures may be single component it is possible to deposit on the single component on the surface as well as the multiple component different component okay upon to certain thickness which are which is different we can introduce on the surface or gradient okay and the different gradients are exist and the concentration of this gra gradient of the second component from top to surface to the bottom and of course most of cases coating induces a very small thickness in the micrometer level also okay and so the thickness of the sudden thickness which is depend upon the application okay which can be introduced on the surface and of course sometimes multi layer coating is also applicable on the surface so different layer coating so for different material can also introduce on the surfaces now in general principle of coating process is followed that simply chemical reaction happens on that surface such that under some amount or some elements can be deposited on the surface okay so the principle of coating process which have follows the simply chemical reaction and which is happened upon the surface okay so it may be due to only the chemical reaction or it may be electrochemical okay along with the applichemical reaction but that is a reaction can be accelerated can be influenced by the electric field so therefore sometimes it may be of the thermomechanical process also thermochemical process and that thermochemical both are here okay so in thermal processes maybe with the addition of the heat that accelerate the chemical reaction on the surface and some elements can be deposited on the surface or directly we can use the thermal coating so we can use some kind of heat source to make the coating on the surface okay so this is about the thermal process and sometimes 
uh, in the the substrate material we normally clear the vapor and the vapor actually deposited on the substrate material so that is also possible and of course some in uh, principle the mechanical plating can also be used in the coating process so mechanical plating is the basically a fine metallic powder which is deposited on the cold weighted with the metallic component okay but without applying the any kind of electricity or without applying any kind of heat we can go for the mechanical plating okay so it is follow the principle of the cold welding process so is that the metal actually deposit on the surface so these are called the mechanical plating so there are the several principles we follow for the particular thickness of the layer on the surface and in specifically the surface coating technology we follow this okay this is about the surface coating now i will just brief the definition of the surface coating the surface coating process which involves deposit depositing a layer of molten or semi molten or chemical material onto the substrate and one of the main function of the surface coating is to modify and reinforce the surface and which fun functions instead of the reinforce reforming the composition of the bulk material okay and some of the examples of the surface coating processes which include the pvt that means the physical vapor deposition chemical vapor deposition thermal spraying plasma spraying also cladding and electroplating and the wide range of processes are used to de deposit metal or the ceramic as well as the organic that is the paints or plastic and rubber coating also okay now we'll see the or we'll take the overview of the advanced methods of depositing the coating so in that thermal spraying is there sol gel technique is there for uh, depositing a coating and the important cvd and pvd chemical vapor deposition technique and physical vapor deposition technique let's take a overview of this all technique first is the thermal and plasma spraying now in this technique coating process okay in which melted or heated material are spread onto the surface and the feed stock that is a coating precursor is heated by the electrical or plasma or arc or chemical process okay using the combustion flame and the thermal spraying can be provide thick coating approximately 20 micrometer over a large area at high deposition rate okay as compared to other coating processes that electroplating cvd or pvd and the coating material which we are using in this process are alloys ceramics plastic okay and composite also and the, in this process they are fed in powder or wire form and heated to a molten or semi molten state and accelerated towards the substrates in the form of micrometer size particle okay so look at in this diagram some idea i have given about this thermal and plasma plasma spray okay and the disadvantage of this plasma spray process are relatively high cost and complexity of the process okay this is overview now second is the physical vapor deposition pvd this is a type of vacuum deposition process where the material is vaporized in a vacuum chamber and transported transported atom by atom across the chamber to to the abstract and condensed into the film at a abstract surface hybrid physical chemical vapor deposition is a thin film deposition technique that combines the pvd and cvd it is generally used to improve the hardness wear resistant and oxidation resistance okay which is used in the aerospace automobile surgical dyes and molds for all manner of the metal cutting tool firearms and optics and watches purposes okay now uh, look at here when metal is heated in a vacuum then that metal becomes a gas that is a sublimation sublimation and which forms a metal film on that atom to be plated okay here i have shown in this diagram now example 
I have shown here the where we can use this PUD technique. So semiconductor devices such as thin film, solar panels, again aluminized film for food packaging and balloons industry and coated cutting tools for metal working. Okay, there we can use this PVD technique against special smaller tools which are mainly used for in the scientific purposes can be developed using this PVD techniques and some common industry coatings applied by this PVD are titanium nitrate, zirconium nitrate, chromium nitrate, titanium aluminum nitrate. So these are the some industrial coatings which are commonly used in the industries. Now let us highlight the or take the review of the chemical vapor deposition CVD. Okay, it is a chemical process which is used to produce high quality, high performance solid material, and the process is often used in the semiconductor industries to produce a thin film. And in this typical CVD, the wafer that is substrate is exposed to one or more voltaic precursors sir which reacts and decompose on the substrate surface to produce a desired deposit frequently voltaic byproducts are also produced and which are removed by gas flow through the reaction chamber and it used in the various form including monocrystalline polycrystalline amorphous and epitaxial also okay so these are the some techniques of coating now just uh, see the how to thread the surface treatment matter okay which we have to select so there are the, some parameters for this selection first parameter is uh, based upon the change in function property the second is the substrate characteristic thickness of the modified surface then throughput the process that is slow or fast then requirement of a vacuum geometry of the component economics so these parameters we need to consider during the selection of the process okay so here we have taken the introduction about the coating technology in next lecture we'll start in detail about the cvd pvd and all the thermal spring methods okay so thanks for watching this video please subscribe our our youtube channel for more videos.